I'm finally getting to sit down and watch the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. So let's see what we got. That's pretty yeah, cool. Steel movie. The world's changing, boys. Time will change too. <laughs> These weapons are crazy dangerous. Listen, Jake, forget the flying monster. There are people who handle this sort of thing. The legal weapons barrel is at 230. You missed it. Why are you give away the whole scene? Well, somebody died. I was just part of a thing like you. I wanted to do better. I'm gonna need to do better. Well, I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. I screwed up. You need to stop carrying the weight of the wounds on your shoulders. I want you to understand. I've been in here to protect my family. I know you know what I'm talking about. Okay, it looks good, but they literally gave away the whole movie. I'm still going to see it, though, but, like, we understand everything now. Why? Why would you give away everything? This is why I don't watch the last trailer, because the last trailer gives away the whole movie. I'm like, the whole scene with the, with the, with the fairy, there's no intensity to it now. There's no meaning... Behind it, when I go see it, I'm like, well, I know what's going to happen because you showed it in the trailer. So why would you give away the whole thing? Like, if you actually watch that beat by beat, you can figure out exactly how the movie is going to go from beginning to middle to end. Well, maybe not the end end, but you can pretty much figure it out. Usually Marvel does good with the trailers, but they pulled a DC on this one. That's like as bad as a Batman or Superman with the damn... Um, Doomsday. Guy hit my head a couple times, I couldn't remember. But seriously? Good trailer, but damn, y'all kind of dropped the ball on that one, man. Ugh. 